If you have been inside the watch game, surely you've come across people who say, no, that watch is not Swiss, so it's not good. And I have met people who tell me, no, I only buy Swiss watches because they are the best. And I believe that having these types of comments only exposes the ignorance these people have. Because just like in everything in this world, we can find good and bad things. Things that give you a lot and things that give you little from all of the manufacturing of all countries. Imagine if you said, no, I only like Mexican food because it is the best. And of course, yes, it is the best in the world. But imagine all of the other things you are missing out on, like a good Italian pizza, a good sushi, a great onion soup. So to make it easy, no. The fact that a watch is made in Switzerland definitely does not make it better. But to start this conversation, the first thing that I want to do is to define what it means to be Swiss made. And I think any thinking person would say, well, it means that the watch is made in Switzerland. And interestingly, it's not that way. There are many laws and rules that are taken into account to consider a watch to be Swiss made. But how can you earn the right to write Swiss made on the dial of your watches? Well, here is the list. First, let's talk about what a movement needs to be considered Swiss made. It needs to be, number one, assembled in Switzerland. Number two, to be tested in Switzerland. Number three, at least 60% of its costs have to have been generated in Switzerland. And number four, at least 50% of the value of all components must be made in Switzerland, excluding the assembly cost. Now, did you notice that nowhere does it say that the parts have to be manufactured or designed in Switzerland? This means that you can manufacture most of these parts in China and only make the more expensive parts in Switzerland and assemble most of the movement and test it in Switzerland. So it already means that the movement is made Swiss. And now let's talk about what a watch has to have to be able to say Swiss made. Number one, the movement must be made in Switzerland, taking into account the factors I just mentioned. Number two, the movement needs to be placed inside the case in Switzerland. Number three, manufacturing runs the final tests in Switzerland, just the final tests. And number four, at least 60% of the costs must be generated in Switzerland. For me, Saying made in Switzerland means that everything is made in Switzerland. Every component, design, assembly, everything should be made in Switzerland. And that's why they supposedly cost so much. But these are just loopholes that were obviously created to make Swiss manufacturing more efficient and to reduce costs without losing the reputation or the status of what it means to be made in Switzerland. And all of, all of this talk about Swiss watches being better and of higher quality and the most accurate comes from the 70s. And interestingly, it comes thanks to the quartz crisis. If you're old enough to have lived in the 70s, you remember <laughs> that before watches were just tools. They were not investments, they were not jewels, they were a robust tool that gave you the time. But when quartz watches were created, they destroyed most of the Swiss industry. So the focus had to change and watches stopped being tools and they became jewels, they became heritage, investment. And obviously, as the Japanese were creating a revolution, this campaign was created that if it's not Swiss, it's not good. But I think the more you know, the more you understand, the more you learn, you realize that there is good manufacturing almost everywhere. We know that German brands have an amazing, amazing manufacturing and quality. And we obviously know as well that Japanese manufacturing speaks for itself. But their prices are not as high and people do not recognize them as quality products just because they are not Swiss made. Because obviously saying it is Swiss made gives you a pedigree that no other manufacturing gives to the people who do not know about the subject. 
And this last thing I said, I think is the key to the situation. It is common knowledge that Swiss manufacturing is undoubtedly one of the best in the world. Their quality control is very high, the materials used are of the highest quality, and of course, that is why it has earned its reputation. If it were not so, they would not be where they are. But I think that they've been losing some ground. Many brands are cutting costs, lowering quality, and raising prices. And it seems that they are only testing how much they can raise their prices without having to increase the quality and to see how much people are willing to pay without seeing an improvement in the product. There are Swiss brands that use generic movements and charge hundreds of thousands of dollars. There are brands that use plastic parts that will eventually fail. And this happens in Switzerland, this happens in Japan, this happens in many places. But I believe that while the Japanese and the Germans for the most part strive to provide the highest quality possible, because they do not have this high pedigree that the Swiss do, they need to give you the most quality. On the other hand, it seems that the Swiss are striving to see how much they can charge for so little. Now don't get me wrong, under no circumstance I am saying that Swiss manufacturing is bad, on the contrary. There is a reason they are where they are. But I think there are too many legal loopholes that help the industry reduce costs and lower qualities. But that allows brands to continue riding this wave called Made in Switzerland. And I repeat, surely Seiko has many factories outside of Japan, which of course help them cut costs. And this is more of a message for the industry in general. I believe that the more information there is in the world, the harder it is to hide things. And although being made in Switzerland has an incredibly large weight in the watchmaking industry, I think it was more of a discredit campaign from the Swiss towards their competition than a fact. Because it is obvious, if you can't beat them, discredit them. When Seiko started competing with the Swiss in the observatory tests in Switzerland, which were watch precision tests. The Swiss saw that there was no way they were going to be able to beat the Japanese. So what did they do? Obviously, they canceled the tests. Basically, that's where the idea comes from that just because it is Swiss, it is better. But I challenge you to compare a Seiko with any Swiss watch of the same price. Compare a Grand Seiko a glass hooter with any any other a, a rolex and just tell me which one is of a higher quality because maybe the one that says it is made in switzerland carries much more recognition that is for sure but speaking of quality that's another story now guys 93 percent of you are not subscribed so if you like talking about watches and the market click the subscribe button and ring the bell and I'll see you next time.